Welcome to In the Word with Roy Edwards, where we dive into the timeless wisdom of the scriptures with your host, Pastor Roy Edwards. He is the senior pastor of Redemption Church in Casa Grande. Service times are Sundays at 9 and 11 a.m. and Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. For more information, check out www.redemptioncg.org. Prepare to be uplifted, encouraged, and challenged by the Word of God. Let's jump right into the message. Today is day 22 of our 30-day prayer journey. Let's jump right in. Matthew chapter 21, verse 22 in the New King James Version says it like this. And whatever things you ask in prayer, believing you will receive. So let's dive in. What a powerful promise. This verse teaches us that when we pray with faith, believing that God will answer, he'll answer our prayers. And and that holds great, great promise to us. So number one, faith is the key. Notice the key word here in this verse, believing. Jesus isn't saying that any random request will be granted, but rather it's the faith behind the prayer that matters. When we pray, we aren't just speaking words into the air, but we're coming before a loving God who's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ever ask or think, right? Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. Faith is the assurance that God hears us, that he cares, and that he's going to act in his perfect timing. It's not about how fancy our prayers are. Listen to me. It's not It's not if you can pray like your pastor or pray like your your grandma or or the saint sitting next to you in church. It's not about how fancy your prayer is. It's about the heart behind the prayer. Do we truly believe that God can and will move? Number two, the power of prayer. Jesus makes a really great promise here. It's amazing. He says, whatever whatever things you ask in prayer, believing you will receive. That's a broad promise. And it reflects the limitness the limitlessness of God. However, we need to remember that God answers our prayers according to his will and his wisdom and what is best for us. When we when we make requests, we need to make sure they align with his plan and we pray with faith. And then the door is open for God to move in a miraculous way, whether it's a prayer for healing or provision or or to restore or for strength or for peace, whatever it is, we ask in faith. And we open ourselves up for God to work in our lives. Number three, I believe he's talking here about praying with expectation. So what does it mean to pray? Believing. It means praying with expectation. It means trusting that God hears us and he's already at work, even if we don't see the results right away. It's about releasing doubt holding on to the truth that nothing is impossible with our God. Come on. We might not always get exactly what we ask for, but we can trust that God is good and that he answers prayers in ways that are best for us. And when we pray in faith, with faith, we're not just asking for our desires. We're aligning uh, aligning our hearts with his will. So let me just tell you, as you go throughout your day today, remember this. Prayer is powerful, but faith is the key that unlocks the door. So when you pray, believe that God hears you, that he's able to meet your needs, and that he will respond according to his perfect plan. Let's pray. Father, I love you today, and I thank you for your promises. And I thank you that that you promise tells us that when we ask in faith, you hear and you answer. Help us to come to you in prayer with hearts full of belief fully trusting you that you know what's best and that you are able to move mountains. God, in the name of Jesus, we place our faith in you and we expect to see your hand at work because that's the kind of God that we serve. We love you and we bless you in Jesus' holy name. Amen. So listen, when you pray, pray with faith, knowing that God is listening and he's ready to respond. Until next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. May his love surround you, his spirit guide you, 
and his presence cover you today and always in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for listening today to In the Word with Roy Edwards. We pray you've been encouraged and challenged by the Word today. Be sure to follow Pastor Edwards on social media, YouTube, and you can also listen to these messages on any podcast platform you consume content. Just search for In the Word with Roy Edwards and enjoy. We will be back next week with more messages to encourage you in the Word.